Alex Yu Show, 300 seconds of life-changing wisdom on health, happiness, purpose and success. Inspiring people with inspiring stories around the globe, just for you, only on Alex Yu. Alex Yu Show is in one of the most gorgeous cities in Europe, Porto. And uh, our guests today are two exceptional individuals who are making a difference every day with what they do. It's an exceptional vegan restaurant that they run in, um, well, we can say almost in the heart of Porto. Beautiful, delicious food. They're gonna tell us in 300 seconds what it takes to run a vegan place and why they actually do it. Joanna, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you very much. Philip? Thank you. Can you guys tell me the name of the, the, the place? <laughs> yes. Uh, it is Arvore do Mundo. <laughs> they do a much better job, believe me. <laughs> I've been cooking in professional restaurants now for eight years. So it's something that I that I've been doing for some time. And the experience of cooking. Yes. yes. And the, all the friends and the family were always saying to me that you should open your own place. So this is really my own place. This is really the the part of myself that people can see. Mm -hmm. And then the part of myself that they can taste is the food. Beautiful. So it's really really personal. It's not something that I saw in a magazine. I am vegetarian now for 10 years. Uh, I have a son with almost 10 years, which is vegetarian since ever, since the birth. Then uh, I decided myself to become vegan, which is something that I would like to 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 have done already. To have done already in the past, but I I, I was not prepared in in my heart to do it. So after two months of a vegetarian restaurant and then I decided that I would become myself vegan and the place would become also vegan. Full vegan. Full vegan. The best part we talk a lot in terms of service, of ser actually serving people. It's a technical term and it's true. It's a service like many other works are a service and we're serving people and maybe tomorrow those people will be serving us. That's not the point. But it's the idea of serving people and also the idea we have people here who are not even vegetarian, but we also have people who would not, for instance, who are traveling and who would not be able to eat anywhere else. And uh, for us, that is really uh, fulfilling to know that we're that we're allowing these people to to eat, basically. This is for me. It, it's like a, it's a kind of the silence revolution mm -hmm. because it's really happening, and there there are a lot of people in the world that they really don't imagine the how higher is the dimension that this this, this vegan scene vegan. is, yes. it's is happening. really happening. Push. There are people that say, oh, you are the best. And I always say, I don't want to be the best. I want to be Árvore do Mundo. I want to be a place that is unique. If you come here and say, oh, Árvore do Mundo is the best, for me that's really not important. If you come here and you say this is this place is really unique, I can feel things here, I can feel things in my body when I taste this food, when I talk to you. Mm -hmm. So that's the point. That's for your me. character. That's the unique. That's the point. Signature. That's really the point of the service. Uh, it's when you can touch someone. Yeah, this yeah. is our sign in common. So uh, and it's really it's something that we really love. Yeah. So we are not doing this to make some money. This project started without any money any I, I never had money so this start with people who said uh, if you need money if you really want to do this we will borrow some money wow. and you will pay when you whenever you you can I say are you sure <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I will be able to pay it was not something that all oh, vegan is the thing now so let's open a vegan place no it's the way of life I, I always say oh, something that I know that this is the mission now for me this is a mission, yes. so I will do it until the time that I feel I have to, to be here. I think the, the issue of the protein is the, the same issue that people invent in a lot of things. It's like the, the diet of the, of the type of your blood. I am a type of blood that should be eating a lot of meat. I cannot eat meat because I, I simply don't digest meat. So even I don't, don't want it. Uh, I really don't digest it. It's something like if I have a stone in my in my stomach, like for one week, and it will be there. Yeah. So, for me, that's that's uh, fashion. Yes. That kind of studies because a dream it can be just a dream. In in life, you can have a lot of dreams. You can have a lot of proposals. Yes. You can have you can have a lot of life is lives in the same life. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. You can be doing these and these and yes, yeah, so you can be, but a they lot. can be just dreams. 
But if you want to do it, if it's really a desire or a proposal, you should do it because if it's meant that to be, it will happen so the way be. the way the restaurant. So you don't have money, but if the restaurant is supposed to open, it will open. Things will come together. And they have like the Rumi, like the poet, the Persian Sufi Beautiful. poet said, uh, "God give, God gives, gives it each soul a talent, and places in that soul the yearning to fulfill that talent." So, in that sense, people have a purpose. Like, for instance, uh, uh, for instance, now we have the purpose of being here in the restaurant, and in that sense, I think that's it. It's to, it's to develop your talents and to share them as good as possible. And that's why you were asking about following dreams. Uh, I think if you know what your purpose is, it's even scarier not following it than trying to follow it. Mm -hmm. Like trying to follow it is very complicated, but it's even worse if you waste it. In the last 300 seconds, I learned a lot about what it takes to run a vegan place and why it's so important to do what you love and do it well, serve others. If you still have questions about this beautiful restaurant and this beautiful fox or Alex you show, check out the description box below and shoot your questions away. It was an honor hosting for you. Joanna, again, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, yes? Alex. Philip, it was really an honor. Perfect. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs>